Jordan is gone. The Rangers and their last stand have been crushed. You've taken the white light for yourself. This is a big day, Lord Draken. You've made me very proud. Thank you, Empress. And yet, for all that we have accomplished, you don't seem pleased. I've had a lot on my mind. Tell me, child, what troubles you? Zordon chose children for a reason. Their hope. Their optimism. But also, their naivete. Their ability to be controlled. Eventually, though, every child realizes the truth. That their parents, for all their strengths, are incredibly flawed. That they have feet of clay. That in many ways, they hold us back. Eventually, Every child realizes they must grow up. Uh, impossible. You gave me these powers, Briss. It's only fitting they'd be your end. Rest now. The time is done. I will continue what we have started. You know what they say, too much pink power is dangerous. Three, two, one, fight! time back to action three two one fight <laughs> Who's back?
the time. You know what they say. Too much pink power is dangerous. Three, two, one. Fight. Hit You know what they say. Too much pink power is dangerous. Yes, my lord. Three, two, one. Fight! <laughs> it's far too late for that. The crystal feeds on green chaos energy. Do you feel it? His death is already underway. Nothing you can do. Who are you? No time! Start firing! Destroy that crystal and keep him from leaving! No! Not yet. I'm too close. Tommy! Tommy! Tommy, it's gonna be okay. Please just stay with me. See you. It's gonna be okay. Wake up, wake up! He's not breathing, there's no pulse! Help! We need help! Oh my god, Tommy! I was too late back far enough. My name is Jen Scotts. I'm from the future. I'm here because existence is in danger. And only Power Rangers can save it. To all those who will hear these words, my name is Zordon of Eltar. I come to you from across the grid with a warning. A great threat is upon us. Ultra newly charged chaos crystal. 
Lord Draken is able to move his forces across time and space. We have found a way to target Ranger. Their Black Dragon Cannons are designed to disrupt all connections to the Morphe. However, his true desire is to steal Morphers. With them, he will attempt to conquer existence. In this time of great uncertainty, we must stand together and, if possible, come to each other's aid. And your world, your elves, and your Morphers at all costs. And may the power protect you all. With the power of snow. Look who we have here. Three, two, one, fight! Match for me. Three, two, one. Three, two, one, fight! Yeah, 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 yeah. 
three, two, one, fight!
<laughs> Three, two, one, fight! Three, two, one, fight! <laughs> You have no idea the power I possess! One! Fight!
Maybe we should go another round. I promise, I'll make a stronger impression. You have her. But when our eminence is finished with you, it'll be a distant. We already have what he requires. Secure the prisoner. We return home. Now. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I just... We have a situation. The domed city of Corinth, home of the RPM Rangers. The ranger's leader, Dr. K, has found a way to neutralize the dragon cannons. Jen, if we could stop their cannons, the sentries wouldn't be able to warp our powers. This is... Yes, but the the rangers and the RPM range has to hold off Draken's forces, but there's a 10-mile no-teleportation zone. We can't get Dr. K or her tech out. And ever since Zordon sent out his message, I've been rangers in other eras, survivors of Draken's attacks. I know Corinth is important. But if there are ranger survivors out there... Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Lauren and I will head to Corinth and work on getting Dr. K to safety. Jen, you and Kim pick up whatever rangers you can. Make sure you take Trini. She's been working on some new armor upgrades that may come in handy. Everyone stay in touch, and we'll rendezvous back at the command center. Got it. Thank you. 
Three, two, one, fight!